I want it to be, I want it to have a lot of surface area to the ice because I want it chilled, I want it really cold all the time. I always add the ice before I add the spirit because uh, it's really essential that the entire glass is full of something um, that is uh, that is actually making the drink cold, that's not actually sucking cold out of the drink. And so the, the quality of your ice is important. Here, we have a machine that crushes very large ice, but it produces a very nice, dry, crushed ice. Crushed ice in a cocktail, because it has more surface area, will chill it a lot faster, and it will actually keep it colder longer because of uh, the amount of surface area in your ice. It will melt over time, just the same way. As soon as you expose it to a lot more liquid that is of a higher temperature, it will melt faster. But if you get it down chilled quickly, that crushed ice will actually last a long time. If we only had a few little ice cubes in here, we'd have a lot of room temperature booze working on very little ice. Now we're gonna have a little bit of room temperature booze working on a lot of ice. For the Caipirinha, unlike most cocktails, I like, I like thinner ice. I like ice that's going to break up a little bit easier, um, not such a structured ice cube. If you wanna break down a Caipirinha to its most simple level, you've got spirit, acid, and sweet. Um, the Caipirinha specifically goes towards cachaça as being the spirit. It really focuses on the spirit that's involved in it. Cachaça is a very unique spirit. First of all, what is cachaça? Well, it comes from one place in the world. It's native to Brazil. It's unique to Brazil. It's not rum. It is cachaça. Uh, almost all rums around the world are made from sugar molasses, which is a byproduct from refining sugar. Cachaça is made from pressed sugarcane juice. It's cane spirit. Um, it's rainforest spirit. Because it derives from more of a raw plant essence, you get a lot more of what the flavors are from where it's produced. Cachaça from one region will just taste naturally different from another simply because of the plant it comes from. I want something that tastes vibrant. I want it to taste vegetal and green, uh, bright, earthy. It has a very unique flavor. It's minerally, it's floral, it's nutty. It's kind of an indescribable thing. Now, when you think of cachaça as a spirit, there's industrial cachaças that, that drink like vodka. Yeah, you can, run, you can run automobiles on particular industrial cachaça. Artisanal cachaça is a different animal. My, my preference for a caipirinha is unaged cachaça that, that have a very floral, very light, very vegetal feeling. It works great with aged cachaça. It adds kind of a vanilla flavor. It adds kind of spice flavors. I put two ounces in. <laughs> I do. I, put, I use two ounces of cachaça for my caipirinhas. Um, again, you know, it, it's, it's going to dilute, it's the only spirit that you use in the drink. Um, and you want to, I, I feel like someone that is going to drink a Caipirinha, I want to be generous with them and, you know, give them as much of this experience as I can because they ordered a Caipirinha. <laughs>